Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Forge in Minecraft 1.16.2. We're going to go over every single step of getting Forge, setting it up, all that stuff. It's all going to be covered in this video. Now, we do have a separate video showing you how to add mods to Forge. So once you're through with this video, you can find that video linked to the description down below, linked to the eye at the top of your screen, and linked at the end card of this video. So no matter what, you're going to be able to find that video on how to actually add mods to Forge once you have it installed. But before you can do that, you need to get Forge installed, which is what this video is all about. You can also subscribe to the channel for more awesome mod videos, mod tutorials, and all that stuff. But first, we have a mess from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. You get an incredible 24-hour Forge server. You can set up your very own Forge server with Apex Minecraft Hosting in just a few clicks. It's very, very simple and very, very easy. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're looking to start your own Minecraft server with Forge or vanilla or running plugins, no matter what you want to do with a Minecraft server, you can do it with Apex Minecraft Hosting. So check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Forge. That's why we're here after all, isn't it? So to do this, we want to go to the second link down below. And that's actually going to take you here. Now, I know it says 1.16.1 here, but you're watching the 1.16.2 video right now so anyway whenever this video is live it will replace the 1.16.1 video here but nevertheless once you're here if you scroll down you'll be able to see this is actually our text tutorial for installing forge so it goes over every single step of getting forge installed sometimes i go fast in videos and people would rather have a text tutorial so because of that we made these and you can follow these at your own pace however if you're going to follow along with the video you can go ahead and click on the green download forge button once you are here so come to this page scroll down click on that green download forge button and that will take you off to forge's official website where we want to make sure 1.16.2 is selected and as we can see it isn't right it says mc 1.15.2 that's not correct to make sure 1.16.2 is selected, come over here to the left-hand side, click on 1.16, and then click on 1.16.2. Once you see MC 1.16.2 here, we can come under Download Latest and click on that Installer button, and it will go ahead and take us off to Add Focus. For stop, your download's not ready, don't click anything on this page, don't click a single thing on this page. Do not click any download buttons on this page whatsoever. The only thing you want to click, the only button you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. That's it. Just click the red skip button in the top right, and then in the bottom left, Forge will download. So as you can see, we have Forge-1.16.2, where we can go ahead and click the keep file in the bottom left. Now, Mozilla Firefox, it'll pop in the same screen, and you'll need to save the file. It's safe to keep it. It's safe to save it as long as it has Forge in the title. If it doesn't, just click discard and click that red skip button in the top right. Again, all we want to do is click that red skip button. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on my desktop, I have Forge 1.16.2. Now, if this isn't on your desktop, no worries. Don't freak out. It's going to be found in your downloads folder. So to find that, go ahead and click the little windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, but it's probably in the bottom left of your screen. But click on that little windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. And then go ahead and type in downloads. And then click on downloads, file folder, and windows, right like so. And in here, you'll find Forge 1.16.2. Drag that to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, once this is on your desktop, go ahead and right click on it click on open with and then you should have Java in here but what if you don't have Java or what if it doesn't look like my file what if this looks like a piece of paper or it looks like a you know WinRAR file like a stack of books or it looks like a zip file what do you do in that case well in that case you need to download Java and luckily you can find our in-depth Java tutorial in the description down below and this is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods and guess what Forge allows you to run Minecraft mods so of course you're going to need Java specifically the correct version of Java in order to get Forge installed just like Minecraft mod. So as you can see, just scroll down and go through this quick little three-step tutorial, then you should be good. But if for whatever reason, it still doesn't look like a Java file, it doesn't have that Java coffee cup logo there, if that's the case, you need to run the jar fix, which you can find also linked in the description down below. And what this is gonna do is take all the jar files in your computer and link them to Java once again, kind of linking them back up and making them work together properly. So as you can see here, this is another little three-step tutorial that is going to basically fix Java on your computer and make it to where finally, you're gonna be able to right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. It's then going to go ahead and open up the mod system installer for Forge. We can then go ahead and click on install client and click OK. And it's going to download and do everything it needs to do to get Forge set up and running for Minecraft 1.16.2. Now, if for whatever reason you have an issue at this point, it is most likely due to the fact that you've not played Minecraft 1.16.2. You need to play vanilla Minecraft 1.16.2 with no mods or anything in it. And to do that, just open up Minecraft and click, you know, latest release and click play for 1.16.2. And then you'll be able to install 
Forge if you have any issues. Otherwise, it'll go through like this here and it will eventually say this. Successfully installed Client Profile Forge for version 1.16.2, basically saying it's successful, it's done, awesome. We can go ahead and click OK. Now you can go ahead and delete Forge off your desktop, right like so, and we can go ahead and open up Minecraft. Now we wanna open up the Minecraft launcher and before you slap that play button, right before you go in here and you hit play, right away, you want to make sure you have Forge selected. Now, as you can see, ours is selected here, and it does say 1.16.2-Forge under it. If that's the case for you, you can go ahead and click the green play button. But what if you don't have this Forge profile? What if it's not in here, right? What if you click this little arrow here and Forge isn't in there? Or what if it is in there, but it's not 1.16.2-Forge? Well, in that case, we have a solution for you. Come here to the top of Minecraft and click on the Installations tab there. Then you want to click on this Plus New button right here. Then, after you click on that Plus New button, you want to name your profile or your installation. You can name it whatever, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. We have Green Protected Server. Survival with Medieval Survivor having 30 custom quests and a player based economy and Aquatic Survival with a slash shop based economy and truly incredible community. We've also got custom factions with 10 member factions, PvP based. It is a ton of fun. And then we also have Skyblock as well with OP enchants. 1.8 PvP, custom islands, custom features. It's amazing, so come play this. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. But nevertheless, once you've got your name in there, we can come over to this version drop down. So where it says latest release, click on that, it's gonna drop down here. And you wanna find release 1.16.2-Forge. Now for me, it's right up here at the top. However, if 1.16 has been out a while, it might be you know down here a little bit. You might have to scroll down to find it. I have seen it be at the very, very bottom of the versions list before, so if you can't find it anywhere, check there. But for me, it's right up here at the top, release 1.16.2-Forge. Go ahead and click on that. I'm going to change my resolution. You don't need to do that, but we're making a video here, so you won't want to be able to see once we get in game. And by changing my resolution, it allows that to happen. But now we can go ahead and click the green create button after we've got the 1.16.2-Forge version selected. And then down here at the bottom, we have a new profile, play.breakdowncraft.com. And as you can see, 1.16.2-Forge is the version it's for, which means we're good to go. We can go ahead and hover over that and click on the green play button. And now Minecraft will open up with Forge. And there's not going to be really any denying of that fact. Like, there it is. Boom. Forge is now opening up. This is the Forge mod loader early loading process that you're going to see if you, in fact, do have Forge. If you uh, don't have Forge installed, you're not going to see the Forge mod loader loading process, right? And then something else down here in the bottom left, you can see all the stuff that is kicking on and activating and all that stuff that, again, you really wouldn't see. Even this up here at the top with, like, the memory usage readouts and stuff, you're not going to see that with vanilla Minecraft. And then, last but not least, if we aren't sure enough, it says right up here, Forge Beta. And so that's just warning you that Forge is in beta. And then in the bottom left, it does say Forge as well. And we can click on the Mods tab, and we can see Forge there and Minecraft. So yes, I don't think there is any denying that Forge is installed in 1.16.2. However, if you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to subscribe to learn how to install mods in Forge. That video will be coming up right after this. So you want to know how to add mods to Minecraft? Well, we've got a video coming up on that. It's linked in the description down below. It's on the eye at the top of your screen. And it's in the end screen that's either on your screen right now or will be coming up very, very soon. So you can learn how to install mods there and get those mods installed and up and running in Minecraft 1.16.2. I'm really excited for modded Minecraft. I think we'll see a lot of good mods for 1.16.2. Now that basically base version of Minecraft, right? Minecraft vanilla is stable. Forge will be able to build on top of that and then mods will be able to build on top of that. So it's going to be really good. I'm really excited for modded Minecraft in 1.16.2. But come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching and I am out. Peace.